Hi, and welcome to another episode of Idle Monthly. Now, today's game is called Soda Dungeon. And... Well... I'm not the super far into the game yet. I'm not very far. But I would... I think uh, where I am at, it is considered the mid-game. So I have all of them maxed out. I don't even know why I'm using the gold. Well, I guess I can use it, keep using it. Let's show you my main group. So this is uh, this is the build I tend to go with. They all have the Megabot Mark One uh, mythic armor, which gives them plus thirty percent damage reduction. I could use this on uh, the Dark Mages, but I went with this instead. For the weapon I'm using the Stick of Truth, which is 98% boost to mag magic attacks, plus 20 mana regen per turn, which is, isn't uh, relevant really, plus 40% magic crit chance and plus 75% crit damage. And of course this, plus 48% boost to magic attacks. This is the weapon I use for the other characters. It gives me crit chance for some damage and boosts physical damage. And the shield of course boosts critical damage. And they basically have 100% crit chance. And... Magic crit chance, uh, 40%, so I could boost that with something. But for now it's fine. The accessories I tend to use are these, plus 40% boost to magic attacks and crit damage. Then uh, the plus 1 crit bonus when a boss is defeated, it stacks, keeps stacking forever. And I didn't find anything for the knight, so I thought I'll go with this. Plus 200% crit damage and essence chance fine. And I have four of these. Earn one cap for each dungeon boss defeated. So that's four bonus caps. I do not use caps, by the way. Well, I do, but very rarely. So I have 2.1 million of them right now. I use only essences. And my uh, sodas are, this is 14,000, 12,000, this I stopped at 10,000, I don't want to go about that. Not that it matters anyway anymore. I really wish the UI would uh, be fixed. Also this uh, here, this actually costs about 240,000 per level. But it only shows two. They should scale, should scale it down. And 8,000 mana, because why not? I also level this effervescence every time I come from the normal dungeon, instead of Lair of Despair. And I have 33,000% boost to magic damage. I currently only level this, this and this. But I used to use a healer as well, so I leveled this a while. These are current at level 7000, all of them. And of course I keep... Um, this is level 11,000, right? I keep this at 11,000... I keep this uh, at the same level as the magic damage one. And they can hit... Uh, when, when I was at the... Let's go into this. I'm at level 1,269,000 in the normal dungeon. Now, the interesting thing about the, the physical damage is, when I was at the stage where the two, when I used the healer, I used two dark mages. So, when the two couldn't kill the mobs easily, then uh, the healer, or a thief, 
got the got the chance to to go for it, and they hit for like ten million or something. At that stage, my dark mages only did like one million or something. So that was an interesting scale. The normal dungeon mobs only have only have 1.6 million health at this stage. So 1.2 million levels. And I get about 3000 essences I think here. And that's pretty much the gameplay loop right here. Most of the time, because I have scaled so far beyond this, then the um, then only that one dark mage does any work, except here this boss. I think it's this boss. Let's see. Then these two get to go. Never mind, it wasn't this. It's this one maybe. It's the one where uh, the boss is immune until his ads are destroyed. Oh well, I skipped that one I guess. Alright, it's here. It's here. Like that. One and then two. And that's how that works. My goal... 930 million gold at the moment per kill. My goal is... One of my milestones is to get the 1.5 billion per mob in this dungeon. So that will take a while. With level 10,000 gold soda, by the way. I won't increase it. Let's get this boss out of the way and I will show you the other dungeon as well. Let's go. In the other dungeon I'm at level 1 million and 41 thousand. Uh, let's go. Like that. And here the mobs at this level ha have 2.4 million health. They give me 4,000 4, essences per level. And uh, relative to the amount of health the mobs have, they actually give less gold. Relative to the health of the mob. For example, when I was at the... Um, when the mobs had, had 1.6 million health, they gave me only about 900 million gold, while the other dungeon gives 930 million gold, which is interesting. I don't know if uh, that's uh, supposed to be that way, but uh, that's the way it is. The reason why this dungeon seems to give more gold is because the health scales faster. So the gold also scales faster. But my AoE does, does like 8 million damage, so they will never catch up to that. Even when I keep leveling it with essences instead of caps. Even then, I don't know when this will catch up with me. So this is basically an idle game, if you want it to be. And that's why I included it in this areas. And I also stop... I'm probably gonna stop leveling uh, the health soda because... For now anyway. I will still put levels into it, sometimes. I used to do it this way, how I changed between the dungeons, I used to do it 
in the way that when I got defeated in one I went to the other. Of course in the middle I leveled Zodas and Relix. But now that I'm scaled above the level the content I'm doing it so that whenever I reach around reach around one billion essences, I stop level essences and go into the other dungeon. And every time the dungeon I'm about to finish is the normal dungeon, I level the effervescence uh, by 1000 levels. And that's my current um, current plan, so to speak. So I I think I have shown pretty much everything in this game. I don't know what else to show, really. Well, there are uh, the. Where is it? Is it this? Yes it is. So I have uh, this guy, the shifter. And I have leveled all of these to max. The Dark Mage Stone is only level 4, 4, 5, 4. Three, two, 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 four, two. Oh, these aren't maxed yet. What? So these special ones, I completely forgot. Oh, I have the wizard stone done and the shopkeeper, but they don't have the owner and gladiator stones done. Interesting. How did I forget about them? I'm gonna get on that uh, next then. Owner and Gladiator for sure. So that, that will definitely be something I want to do. Oh, and another, another thing I want to do is to get 99 of each item in the game. But that's a tough one. Especially the Mythics, because the only reason I got them was because I used... Uh, I used, I used, I used... I had one of these. And I used that, that 67% chance of better items. Then what else did, did I have that I used? I didn't have the candy shell yet. This one, 47% chance of better items. And of course... Of course, of course, of course... What else did I have? This one, one's magnet. 10% chance of better items. And that's how I got the mythics. Because... Uh, for some reason, the only mythics I ever got when I didn't have those items was testing a level 2 teddy suit I got... I got the level 3 bunny shield I got two of these, sorry and I had uh, one of these and one of these and that's it no matter how many uh, up to about level 400,000 in a lot of despair. I had only those mythics. Then I decided to put on item chance, uh, item chance equipment and get the rest. So the uh, equipment is really rare for some reason. But I guess it, uh, it is mythics, so it makes sense. And I tend to level this, this stuff in 1000 level increments. Because why not, right? Every time... Basically what Effervescence does past uh, 100% is... Uh, you get an additional essence every 
50. So when I level it uh, by 1000 now, from 7000 to 8000, then that's 1000 levels, which means I get 200 extra essence per kill, or per level. 200, guaranteed. That's why I keep leveling it, I want more essences. Sh sure, 200 per level isn't a lot, but when you consider that you uh, each run lasts for about 150,000 levels, then that's 200 times 100,000, for example, is 200. It's about 2 million, I think. Or 20 million. Wait, math. 100,000. That's uh, 20 million, yes. So that's 20 million bonus every time you level this up by 1,000. Per run, if the run is only 100,000 levels. But the run is usually longer, about 150,000 levels or 200,000 levels. But it is getting shorter because I'm getting more and more essences and as I said, I level up, I uh, stop each dungeon run whenever I reach around 1 billion essences. But I don't think I have anything here anymore. Welcome back. Yep, I have everything. I wish they added something more here. But then, then again, I kinda... Hope that the... I kinda would have hoped that the game would be in, 30, in 64 bits. And they could still uh, keep the gold cap at 1.5 billion. But... They could uh, have uh, other stuff go past it. I don't know how long the damage will last and the health scaling will last. But yeah, well, I guess the game uh, does uh, last for quite a while because I have only played for 1446 hours. That isn't a lot for an incremental game. So... It has lasted... Well, it isn't a lot for an incremental game, I know, but... It has still lasted for quite a while, so... It's fine. I think I have everything here. I do. And items... There is one item I miss. Two, three items I miss. Three weapons I miss. Armor, one, two... Two armor pieces I have never seen before. One, two... And two shields I have never seen before. And special items as well. One, two, three, four... There was five... Five special items. Also I wonder what the Ring of Maskers will do when they update it. Currently it does nothing. It's uh, a plan for the next update, or a future update. We will see what it will do. It'll be pretty fun. But yeah, I think I will uh, put on... Actually... I will do that, I will fire... And three higher you. With the gladiator and and the owner stones, I will put you. We will use gladiator, so you will use physical damage. This is the best one. What are the others using? This one. And that will be... that. So I will be going um, to get those two last stones leveled up in Lair of Despair. That's my current dungeon I'm doing. And I'll see you 
next time. This was a much longer episode than I thought, but hopefully it was interesting enough. And maybe even semi-informative, I hope. But this is basically my progression in the game so far. And I hope to see, show you more of it in the future, when I get more. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.